in terms of you know what makes a good uh, pick up and drop off location, uh, we get really valuable feedback. Yeah, and in fact, we had to um, uh, do some really interesting work with uh, high definition maps and uh, thinking about walking directions. And if you imagine you're in a store, mm-hmm. right, in some giant space, and then you know you want to be picked up somewhere, like you, if you just drop a pin at a current location, which is maybe in the middle of a shopping mall, like what's the best? location for the car to come pick you up and you can you know, have simple heuristics where you just kind of take your you know you clean in distance uh, and find the nearest uh, spot where the car can pull over that's closest to you but oftentimes that's not the most convenient one you know i have many anecdotes where that heuristic <laughs> breaks in horrible ways i uh, one example uh that you know i often mention is uh, somebody wanted to be you know uh, uh dropped off uh in phoenix uh and you know we a car picked a uh, location uh, that was close, the closest to there, you know, where the pin was dropped uh, on the map in terms of you know latitude and longitude. Uh, but it happened to be on the other side of a parking lot that had this row of cacti, and the poor person had to like walk all around the parking lot to get to where they wanted to be in 110 degree heat. So that you know that was a problem. So then you know we took all take all of these um, all of that feedback from our users and uh, incorporate it into our system and you know, improve it. Yeah, I feel like that's like requires AGI to solve the problem of like when you're, which is a very common case when you're in a big space of some kind, like apartment building, it doesn't matter. It's some, some large space. And then you call the like a Waymo from there, right? Like, so, and you, whatever, it doesn't matter, ride share vehicle. And like, at, where is the pin supposed to drop? I feel like that's, I, you don't think, I think that requires AGI. I'm gonna, in order, <laughs> in order to solve, okay, the alternative, which I think the Google search engine has taught is like, there's something really valuable about the perhaps slightly dumb answer, but a really powerful one, which is like, what was done in the past by others? Like, what was the choice made by others? That seems to be like in terms of Google search, when you have like billions of searches that you can, you could see which, like when they recommend what you might possibly mean, they suggest based on not some machine learning thing, which they also do, but like on what was successful for others in the past and finding a thing that they were happy with. Is that integrated at all? With Waymo, like what, what pickups worked for others? It is. <laughs> I, I think you're exactly right. So there's, uh, real, it's an interesting problem. Uh, naive solutions uh, have uh, uh, interesting failure modes. Uh, so there's definitely lots of things that uh, can be done to improve, uh, and both learning from you know what works, what doesn't work, and actual heal from you know getting richer data and uh, getting more information about the environment and you know uh, uh, richer maps. Um, but you're absolutely right that there's something like there's some properties of solutions that uh, in terms of the effect that they have on users, so much 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 better than others, right? And predictability right. and understandability is important. So you can have maybe something that is not quite as optimal, but is very natural and predictable uh, to the user and kind of works the same way uh, uh, all the time, and that matters. That matters. Matters uh, a lot for the user experience, and, and but you know to get to the basics, the pretty fundamental property is that the car actually arrives where you told it to arrive. Like you can always you know change it, see it on the map, and you can move it around if you don't yes. like it. <laughs> and but like that property that the car actually shows up reliably on the pin yeah. is critical, which you know where uh, compared to some of the human uh, driven yes. <laughs> Analogs, I think you know you you can have more predictability. It's actually uh, the fact uh, if if I have a, you know, I do a little bit of a detour here. Uh, I think the fact that it's you know your phone and the cars, two computers talking to each other, uh, can lead to some really interesting things we can do in terms of the user interfaces. You know, both in terms of function, uh, like the car actually shows up exactly where you told it uh, you want it to be, but also some you know really interesting things on the user interface. Like as the car is driving, as you you know call it to, and it's on the way to come pick you up and of course you get the position of the car and the route on the map uh, but and they actually follow that route of course uh, but it can also share some really interesting information about what it's doing so uh, and, and, you know our cars uh, as they are coming to pick you up if it's come if a car is coming up to a stop sign it will actually show you that like it's there sitting because it's at a stop sign or a traffic light will show you that it's got you know sitting at a red light so you know they're like little things uh, right uh, but it's it, I find 
those little touch uh, touches uh, really interesting, really magical. And it's just, you know, little things like that that you can do to kind of delight your users.